Contemporary art is not one thing, nor is it everything that uh, every artist does. Contemporary art is art that is contemporary with other kinds of art that's, that is different from, uh, from it. So I think that it's crucial to understand that there are three different kinds of art in the world today and each kind of art is contemporary with the other ones. So particularly in Europe and America, in London and New York, the great art markets, there's um, a kind of art that I call spectacular art. So it's art that's huge, it's very expensive, uh, it usually doesn't have many ideas in it, but it's very attractive. Uh, it's art after Andy Warhol, I mean like Jeff Koons, for example. Art, uh, Damien Hirst is another example. So these are artists who produce spectacular objects, sell them for enormous amounts of money. Um, and for most people they think that's contemporary art. So it's usually uh, a, a, a dog with flowers all over it or a balloon animal um, or it might be a cow sliced in pieces or a big shark coming at you. So it's usually one image, one object, easy to understand, easy to sell. So that's, that's spectacular art. Um, some of that art is actually very good and very interesting, like Richard Serra makes sculptures, very large sculptures, that are within the tradition of modern art or modernism. So there's a kind of what I call re-modernism, repeat modernism, uh, a kind of practice that tries to recover and recuperate modernist art. So that's very common. But really, in most of the world, the art that is the majority of art being made is made by people who have their origins or their thinking outside Europe and America. Um, I'm thinking of indigenous artists, artists from Africa, uh, China, South America, from east of Europe. Um, this art is much more, uh, more critical. It's more about ideologies and issues. Um, it's more about uh, what it is to be in this very complex world today. Um, and if we go to biennales all over the world, this is the art we mostly see. We don't see in, in biennials Damien Hirst or Jeff Koons, people like that. Um, which is a big relief. Right? <laughs> we see lots, much more interesting art. So that's the second current of art in the world. And the third current is, is works of art made mainly by younger people using the net, connecting with each other, uh, who are interested in questions of what is it to be in the world today? You know, who am I? What kind of self do I have? What sort of identity might I have? And the only way of discovering that is to, as we ask your friends, right, share with, other, with other, other people. So there are many artist groups now, there are many people who work on the internet. Um, so this kind of art I think is, it's all, sometimes it's almost like not art at all, it's like everyday life, it's just curated in a particular way. Um, that can be a problem because it can be kind of banal and boring. It's like the Instagram art, you know. Um, so each one of those currents has very, very good art within it, lots of not so good art within it. <laughs> um, and then each of those currents merges with things that are not art. They're just like, you know, uh, souvenirs or craft or chuchkas or stuff. You know. <laughs>
the way in which a work of art can affect your entire self, your mind, your body, your sense of being in the world. Yeah? It's crucial, obviously, it's the most important thing about art. And it's the sort of medium through which most art works. You know? Whereas in the modern period, the medium was um, the medium, you know, painting, sculpture, a material. Um, and we responded as spectators to the way in which an artist had worked an idea through a material um, or a feeling through a material. And in a way that's still the case, but the material is much more dispersed now. Um, and so affect, uh, is what, affect itself is virtually a medium, you know, so very important, yeah.